Hello, I am Carlos and this is my moment of music. Continuing our conversation on the elements of music, we will consider today harmony. Harmony, whenever we talk about it outside of music, we always think of harmonious relationships among the elements of certain group. But in music, it's quite difficult to make interesting, fascinating music if we are only using consonant sounds. Therefore, in order to create the ebb of music, the continuous flow of it, composers have to use dissonance. And then the relationship of which notes are going to be dissonant and which notes are going to be consonant is what creates the idea of tonality. Here is where all those flats and sharps come into action. Because every time the composer chooses a tonality, it has to create a temporary hierarchy. Which sounds are going to propel music forward and which sounds are going to make it feel restful. It, it is like the brushes in a painter. The painting itself doesn't depend on what brushes the painter uses, but those brushes are allowed to have certain colors even look different on the canvas. If you think of a game of golf, for instance, the sharps and flats will be the clubs that the player has at his or her disposal in order to play a single game. But each hole, the pace of game, of the game, and the overall strategy depends on each player and it depends on each situation. Therefore, if we consider melody as the profile of music as we were discussing earlier, you will have to consider harmony as the wheels that allow the person that has that profile to transport itself. Therefore, it is the same person in a bike, in a car, in a train, in a spaceship. But the harmony it allows that person to not transform itself, but to get to different places and a different pace. That is what the concept of harmony in music is. Therefore, Every time that you are listening to music, you will start discovering that there is certain rules that apply to the Baroque that don't apply to the classical or the romantic or the main ideas that sprang up from the imagination of composers in the 20th century. So here we go. We have discussed already many of the elements of music, but whenever we think of harmony, in music, we have to consider also the tension that allows the music to go forward. That's what I wanted to tell you today. In the meantime, I hope you have a wonderful week. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.